Ooh wee! Boy, do I feel bad <clears throat> about this team right here. Man, the Lions, man. <clears throat> Is this at home? I'd even check. Nope. It's hey, mad respect the to the coach. <laughs> But man, they're Kenneth gonna Walker. get destroyed, man. A lot man. to like from a showing last week. Well over a hundred yards in a pair of scores. It's the Seahawks and the Lions coming up next. First opened in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Seattle Seahawks and the Detroit. Ooh, we're kicking off. You get the ball again in the second round. Can't complain about that. It's three and oh versus two and one. A good early season battle as we're underway in week four. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Detroit gets set to go on offense, and it will be the seventh-year pro out of Cal, Jared Goff, leading the attack in his second season as a Lion. Right to the air, here is Goff. And connecting here with DJ Sharp. Dude, what? And they're going to have this across midfield. So the fuck up. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Poor guy. Look, I'd be honored to play on any football team. But the Lions. Damn. <laughs> Damn, sorry about the throat, man. I can't help him unless I'm cutting off the mic every two, three seconds. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good Second time. Ten. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Again, golf. And he's there you go. go down. They get to him back at the 40. Push wow. Did Goff just push for it? Right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get out of the fucked up. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. And he'll let this one go deep. For Bro, sure. Goff. You need glass. It'll be out of bounds <clears throat> incomplete. So now on comes the field goal. I don't know unit. what that was, though. This is no ordinary try here. They'll You're really going for it? So call it a -yard Damn it, is that going to be a flag? How's that not a flag? Partner doesn't seem like it, but that's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game. Really? No flag. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game, but sometimes All it's right. almost like, oh, what now? Already? Can they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, he's probably saying if he can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40 yarder? <laughs> a long one and he can't connect. All right, Monday. We're going to the top Play two crosses. Now it's locked. This pass is nice, baby. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. I would say just add that one to the total big plays he's already made here in the first month of the year. You've got to think the front office and the coaching staff have got to be excited about what they've seen so far and really excited about what they expect <clears throat> to see down the road. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second right, and two. Not opening the right, huh? Oh, fuck it. A man who played collegiately over it. Bam. Here's Ken Walker. <laughs> Untouched. the Seattle touchdown. Ken Walker hitting double digits with his 10th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks are on the board first here this afternoon. So another touchdown for him on the year now, Charles. He had two in the opener last week and hits pay dirt for a third time here.
and with good help, he's got a really good chance to be up there among the leaders of touchdown scored when this season comes to an end. Man. Good question, partner. Is it bad luck to toast him with a to that on Not the at all. Really, that's a fantastic idea. Cheers. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that go. makes the score 7 nothing. The kick unit for the Seahawks out there on the field, and we are ready to rock. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. And they were in field goal range the last time out, but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. Pretty darn good, as you see right there on your screen. I'll echo that. Darn good. Two touchdowns, right? And the ability to be in sync with each other, right? To understand that he's going to be where the quarterback expects him to be when the ball is thrown. The golf throw going into the hands of Williams. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. They'll try and run here with Swift. And this will wind up a Lions first down as he's got this up to the 40 yard line. Swift split carries down the middle with Jamal Williams in 2021. But one of Detroit's busiest players in the passing game. He caught 62 passes, second on the team, and fourth among NFL running backs. His showing could convince the Lions to make him their RB1. On first down, gone. And the Seahawk defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. They'll run the draw here with Swift. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Offense. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Third and long. It's gone. And he is going to go down. He Sit down, boy. On the final play Sit on down. Sit your fat ass down. Shit. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the home standing Lions who have the football. <clears throat> Here comes the Lions punter now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Who in a four? Two fucking sacks, man. Last week as this one's away. He'll take oh, it at the shit. 42. Eskridge, huh? <clears throat> Jesus. A very good punt, but a 16-yard return. And the Seahawks have great field position to start this drive. They take over on the short side of the field. All right, let's give Walker some more. Some more yardage here, baby. Now on first and ten. That's a room to the fucking way. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard Two rushes, line. 27 Just yards. 20. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Let's go. Back to Walker on oh, first shoot, down. I might have fucked that and one up. A 
lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Let's see how well he can catch the ball. Nope. <laughs> the pressure right. He's got his man, London, right side. And he will be brought down at about hey, four for four, 58 yards. That'll put him at an even 50 receiving <clears> yards <throat> now in this first half. And it's a first down. Should we go, DK? Yeah. To throw in his lock. Oh, fuck. Zone, but it's incomplete. <laughs> I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A great play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Seahawks go up by two touchdowns. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two. Two touchdowns, Charles. A great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced to punt to get the ball back. And they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Bro, look at that. Second quarter, 11-13. Derrick Henry has nothing. The Jonathan Taylor has 80 yards and a touchdown. And we are ready to Damn. No run back here. Down to a knee. And this drive will start at the 25. A two fantastic games coming up to wrap up week four. The first weekend in October. <laughs> Tonight, the Chiefs and Buccaneers from Tampa. That's a rematch of Super Bowl 55, of course. And then Monday night, rematch of last year's NFC Championship game. The Rams and Niners from Santa Clara. <laughs> Coverage on that one, 8-15 Eastern. There we go. Silver shoot 10. Yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. Come on, Ford. Come on, baby. Now go out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Fan target to Hawkinson for a line first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the Nickel first down. Zero. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. Come on, baby. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And he Didn't work very well, did it? Here. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Now they contend with Cover a two in Burt. Here's gone. It's Williams on the catch. Woo. And he'll get him down on the other side of midfield. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. To be honest, be the Lions made a mistake six. in drafting Goff. <coughs> Try to get it to Williams. Ooh, baby. <coughs> Sauce Gardner picks it off. Come on, baby. 20. Go home, baby. <coughs> Yes, sir. Ah, the same, same touchdown celebration, huh? Look at this. Like, wide open, man. Who was that, too? Number 18? Who's number 18? Woo! Oh, he's pissed. I would be too, man, if I was on the Lions. Now Myers for the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. Well done, so Sauce. Defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning what it to they the say, end zone defense wins championships. Six. Offense sells so tickets. Get another shot on <laughs> offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. 
Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important... Trying to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it. We just picked up Kyle Hamilton, baby. He's showing that he wants to be a part of this team. Look at this, man. Well read. Look at that. Their wide receiver was even paying attention. What if they even turned around? And we already had the ball. Crazy, man. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think yes, so, does. because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I wouldn't have any doubt that the head coach, offensive coordinator, actually called in <laughs> and called him in and said, look, you're our guy. And he will take Another walk in the park. <laughs> Another walk Kenneth in the park. Walker with his second touchdown here this first half. And the Seahawks are able to add on to their first half lead. Look at that, 14 to 7, Washington Commanders up against the Dallas Cowboys. <clears throat> Guys, we're still in the first half. I really feel like on easy mode here in 2023, it's, it's easier than it was in 2022. That's just my opinion. I'm doing stuff that I've never done in 2022 before. More picks, uh, you know, punt returns for touchdowns. More sacks. Unless it's truly off against the players that I have, but shoot. All right, Barton. Not gonna lie, the Lions Stadium is kind of but uh, this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Goff now to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 is gonna fuck him up. up. Second and ten. Throwing again is gone. He'll be dropped at the 25. Nice job, big. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. At what, the 24? To pick up the first down. <laughs> to throw is gone. He's got this complete to Williams. And he is going to Yeesh, are we really going to let the Lions down. score? He's able to get the third down conversion. From the red zone now, gone. And he's got his man in stride. <laughs> Fuck. Is that a touchdown? Down. The Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. Oh, yeah, yeah. With 16 seconds to go. Dude, at, at the one. This is first and goal. And a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Gone. What? He's got Williams. Touchdown. Oh, Jamison Williams. Wow, all right. I forgot they drafted him. Huh. That's... That sucks. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was Jamison Williams wrapping things up with a touchdown. Fields it right around the goal line. And he'll be brought down right, right on got the 10 seconds, man. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get yeah, him down. We're just going to just run it because we get the ball back. So. Like to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. 
They'll keep it on the ground again here. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 and the 44. <laughs> All right, so halftime. We'll jump right over Cut half right to that. To keep the game going here in week four. Second half kickoff, ready to go. Deontay Swift is still there. Huh? Welcome back, Charles and I settled into the booth, ready All right. for quarter number three. The Seahawks can get another the 60 advantage, points. and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And he brings us out past the 20 terrible. to the 24. That was kind of terrible. So here are the Seahawks ready to take over on offense. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. Seahawks with a first and ten. Lock gets ready to go at their own 24. Hands it to Walker to begin the series. And he's what? Got and now the rookie's free. Dude, bye. Bye. <laughs> Go ahead and give him Damn, the bro. He's been in the end zone now three times. <laughs> you, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. Look but at this. Be honest about 80 it. yards, that's man. That's the most spectacular run he's had in the ball game. <clears throat> it's almost as if he's been playing his own game of can I top this? And each run has been more spectacular than the last. Tell you what. I think this boy is going to get over 2,000 yards. <laughs> I think he'll he'll beat it. We're on game four of 17, right? We've got 13 more games to go. <coughs> I can see it. I can see it. So we get a look at the Lions' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly what do you guys think? If Tom Brady went to the Lions, do you think he would have won a Super Bowl with them? I'm going to say no. Just to think about it. Bro, Puna Ford? Number 97. He's a beast, man. He's fast. Being chased out left. And when it flagged down, Who was he that? goes down. <laughs> so they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Yes. Let's find out. Yes, I will accept that, baby. Accept the but now I don't know who got the sack. 90? <clears throat> oh, Monet. Move them back five yards because they feel good about their defense. But the most under pressure, they got him again. Damn, Al Woods, baby. pounder Al Woods brings the boom on Jesus. the sack. Jesus. Look at this. You know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. I like the next-gen no stats situation they got in the game now. The the it's kind of badass. And these guys, they're normally anchors of that spot, and they don't often get clear shots at the quarterback. But in this case, he can't pass the center in the guard. Pretty sure no we're the number one defense in the league. there to make the play. Steps away to his left. Woo! And yet again, Goff is intercepted. Daxton Hill picks it off. Hey, and Daxton Hill gets it, dude. Hamilton and Hill. Guys we just picked up. Good top NFL draft picks. Something right there still in the third quarter. It would take something around miracle territory for a comeback. He's kind of going the wrong way for a second. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day. They're trying their best to put that disappointment behind them and find ways to make plays. Oh, no oh my God, bro. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Got London on a slam. The 20, 10, 5, and all the <laughs> Yes, Lord. Drake London, 61 yards. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Meyer. 
The fact that I'm us utilizing basically both sides of the ball a lot more in this year's uh, Madden compared to last year's, it's crazy. It just feels more more like an NFL experience than the other ones because they were just kind of like plain James. I literally away. deleted Madden 22 of Madden 23. <clears throat> more than likely, I'm going to get Madden 24 because of Bryce Young. <clears throat> So the Lions Jay Stroud, but after that, <clears throat> guys, well, I might take a break quarter, from football. So some time to kind of clean this up and make it I just might, now. unless yeah, something miraculously comes out of it, Charles or something that I gotta have, you know, like a crazy a Seahawk receiver, or new quarterback, or, you know, something. I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp. Looks like Denver is now at a 2-1 and one situation. Kansas City is 1-2. And Tampa Bay is 0 and 3. I can't remember. Did Tom Brady quote unquote? No. No, he's still in it. I think he's doing another year. Right back to Swift again on second down. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Here's Goff. And that is incomplete. Well, they certainly are letting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already. Goff is going to be like the next Colin Kaepernick, I feel. Like, he'll be on the scene for maybe another, for maybe another year or two. After that, man, no one's going to know your name. This is taken at the 23. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They're obviously right now in the driver's seat, comfortably ahead. They've scored on a couple straight possessions, Charles. And, I mean, for them, I guess it's just more of the same, right? Keep doing what you've been doing. Yeah, it's not typical for us to see games out of reach in the third quarter. Right now, they're unstoppable in this one. And seeing how they just came out onto the field, it does appear like they're done scoring points in this one. They're the the conference. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Walker with another carry. And they'll get him down here at about the 42. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. And he's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they turn to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. 189 yards rushing for him now as his fine rookie season continues. Here's Walker. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. On second down, it's Walker. And he will score. Touchdown, This is almost stupid at this point. Ken Walker. Is that 13? Touchdown run. 13 touchdowns. The Seahawks are going to be moving to 4-0 and as they extend their lead. The extra point Still 4-28 in the quarters. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive we are going to be breaking multiple records in the first season of the Seahawks franchise mode in 2023. Probably going to break the number one running back uh, total yardage in a season. <laughs> I can't remember how much it was. Is it 2,300? 
one streak appears it might be going by the wayside Can't unless remember. they can pull the we'll ring find out. out of their hat. Now a first down throw. Gone. That is passed for the fourth time today. Kyle There's a reason why I picked these players. They're young, they're hungry, they're better. They're better. Just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Get the fuck yeah, out of here. This is a unit that knows they got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. The return man well, down to a knee, and this will season. come out to the 25-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six. I just realized the their helmets the are just straight so up speak, silver. They don't have the lion on there anymore. In search of redemption from the pick six. Golf. Open man right side is St. Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Yeah, they don't have the line. It's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Am I missing something here? Do they just have a straight silver helmet? First and 10 at the 36. Golf now looking to throw. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So from Seahawk territory. Oh, they're going to score on this one? The 42 yard line. <clears throat> Get it. Yes, baby. <clears throat> Nicely done. Nicely done. Sacks, false strips, interceptions. You can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic all game with them, isn't it? this big. I don't know when this asthma of mine is gonna go away, guys. I apologize. Straight ahead, Walker. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And brought down, but not before they're inside. 215 the yards, four touchdowns. That would move the chains. First down, Seahawks. You got to give Metcalf the ball, man. We paid a lot of money for him. They look to throw. It's Locke. Catch it, baby. <laughs> Fox. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Akuda. And the Lions are going to get the football. He has uh. this past the 20-yard line. The Lions Damn offense it. ready to kick off their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things. All right, Gardner, you, you could have had that. They've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss. Minute warning, in baby. Film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of you guys already start to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This yeah, he's on a roll now. He's like, fuck this. We're going to score some more. To hopefully never be in this type of situation again. <laughs> Forced out to his left. <laughs> Sideline throw. It's complete. Wow. Nice. nice. The toes in Nicely bounds. done. Throwing again on second down. Goal. They lead big. And a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level. Come on, baby, third and three. No you know you're going to go for fourth three. down, too. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. <laughs> oh, what was that? Two or three for him. <laughs> <clears throat> How many interceptions is that for him? Show me. Defensively, they've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles, but that interception means that this defense very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game and that's certainly something to smile about isn't it partner if you're on defense because your goal every game is to pitch a shutout but you and i both know that's pretty but. unrealistic <laughs> but to hold the team below double figures in a game i in wish it would have told me game, that's certainly something to take pride in from the gun it's walker and he's got some space here <clears throat> and he Boy. will get in 
Bro, bro, Kenneth Walker can't be stopped. <laughs> Starting to really smell a 4 0 start right now. You can't ask for a better first quarter of the season than that. And he can't be ahead, stopped. But guess what? You're they, going to? They have to. Because when you get to 4 0, you you're not just thinking playoffs now. You're thinking about, okay, this We got to be damn near a thousand yards already. They could very well be the best team in the NFL at this moment. I think they played the best. I mean, there have been a few hiccups offensively and defensively, but probably the best team we've seen, right? And has the ability to get better. Oh, man. I'm, I'm loving this mode. Yes, I get it. It's on easy. Everyone can do that. But it's just, it's fun, you know? <clears throat> it is fun. I'm going to be the first to admit, I don't, I can't do all Madden or Pro or whatever that is. The, the top two most difficulties. I can't do them. It's not fun. If I can't do it, I'm not going to put it out there unless you guys actually want to see a dude struggle severely. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Rokon Smith has got another sack. All these pieces that we picked up in the last two to three games, maybe, required some, some trades and stuff, are, are balling out. We got Rokon Smith. We got Hamilton. We got Hill. We got Gardner. We trade away Penny, got rid of uh, Jamal Adams. We're getting younger. We're getting young, hungry talent. Another try after the first down sack. Golf. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. He's 20 for 31. Hey, he's got 247 throwing yards, though. Not bad. Come on, Sydney. Ah. <laughs> I don't think our boy Locke has that many. Oh, we also got rid of, for those of you that are just joining us and watching this thing, we also got rid of Tyler Locke, too. So, yes, he's still kind of, quote, unquote, yeah, well, no, I think he's in his, like, upper 20s, early, early 30s. Personally, you don't know. Hey, Siri. How old is Tyler Lockett? Yeah, see, 29. They'll actually throw it with Lock. Got a man. It's London. Get in there. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. I was so nervous. I was so nervous. I guess that that was taken literally because here they Look are. Look at this, man. To the fourth, putting another touchdown Watch. on the board, Charles, One. to add to this big lead. I'm not a big believer oh, okay. in 110%, oh. but it certainly applies here, doesn't it? Because some guys Whatever. <laughs> just can't go with less. As long as there's time left on the clock, they're pushing to get to the end zone one more time. What are we at? 69 to 7. They just want to finish the game off the way that they like to play it. Full speed, all out. Extra point up and through by Myers. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Is it even worth kicking it off? Man, if I were Detroit, <laughs> I'd just go on the field and let the clock run out. I'll even try. Damn. Turn this one, he'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Let's go, man, three deep. Let's go, man, three deep. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put please. together something here at the end just to Block. take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that, and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team, and we were game over, baby. the game like this, and you knew it was game. game. Over. Coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I, I think the only thing they got on us is well passing yards. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on. Get it done. See. And maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get Why does Goff look like a fucking alien baby? 
And as this defense walks off the field, they can the do helmet so was with massive. their heads held high. What a performance. Well, by, by so, yeah, they beat us on passing yards, but everything else, yeah, the we, they have five interceptions on them. compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. Player stats. <clears throat> you both want to show your best, and I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. Right here. So, Gardner so had one Seahawks, interception. That early momentum continues here as they move to 4-0. And, oh. and they'll get another road test next okay, week as we they have to go to New so, Orleans Gardner to had take one. on the Saints. Yeah. Meanwhile, Kyle Hamilton Detroit, had three interceptions in that game, and, and then Daxton Hill. And they'll look to get so back Hill <clears> next week as they head and to Hamilton are both dudes we just picked up, I think, Patriots. before this game, I want to say. Yeah, insane, guys. Insane. I took a chance, man, because Jamal Adams is a 90. So he's apparently still good. Good enough for Madden, right? But I'll tell you this. The reason why I got rid of Jamal Adams is because I haven't seen anything from him. He hasn't tried to get interceptions. He hasn't really sacked the quarterback, and we're in game four, right? Last season of Madden, he was he was kind of balling out in the beginning, but then he faded away. So now I'm just like, okay, yeah, he's a 90. I mean, but what is he good at? <clears throat> right? So let's advance the week here. We're going against the Saints. Hmm. Here we go. Players ready to negotiate. Who are they? <clears throat> yes. So right here, it's close to market value. The player may not accept. So let's just let's just try it. Let's see what he says. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I get it. That's fine. I don't want him. You're still young, but you're a free safety. We'll we'll keep we'll keep you unless we can find somebody else. Eh. Ryan Neal last year was good. He was decent. So there's there's some things we gotta do. Upgrade players. Please let it be our Oh. Okay. Thought it was gonna be some of our corners, but it's all good. Let's see our stadium here. <clears throat> stadium overview. Your stadium is the lifeblood of your franchises. If you have the funds, choose to upgrade the different parts of the stadium or renovate. You can only upgrade if your stadium is big enough to allow it and if your stadium rating is, is low enough. Okay, so cool. Otherwise, you can choose to rebuild or relocate. So right now, the happiness is fair. Yeah, let's, let's rebuild it, baby. Hey, as much as I like Lumen Field, Century League Field, Quest Field, we're, we're going big or going home, right? So Russell Wilson's out the door. I feel like we need a whole new vamp. Like, it's like a bad taste in your mouth, you know? Yes, a lot of you can be like, well, you know, Lumen Field is amazing, blah, 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 blah. Well, yeah, but so was the Kingdom, right? And then we got Quest Field, and then that was, or Century League Field, or whatever it was called then. Um, and now we're going even bigger and better. So... <clears throat> Look at this. Available fun funds, we have about $309 million. Parking level 3, team stores level 3, fan base, everything's 3 down the list, right? The rating 64, 51, 64, so, so it's above average. The stadium team store is starting to get a little old. Think about upgrading, renovating, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> so it says right here, at Seahawks mentions, fly high Seahawks, at Seahawks, are they going to renovate the team store at any point? Uh, are they going to renovate the seating at any point? And are they going to renovate the fan zone at any point? So... You know what we're doing? We're giving them a surprise. Look, new team, fresh start. We're going for it. <clears throat> Let's look at our weekly awards here. It's got to be, yep. For the third, look at this. <clears throat> Week one, Kenneth Walker the third. Week two, Kenneth Walker the third. Week three, nobody. But week four, Kenneth Walker the four, uh, third. Not the fourth. The third. We balling out, baby. <clears throat> All right, news real quick. Anything of that's important? Rams seeking CB help. They acquire Trey Flowers. Ew. 
Lame uh, stats and awards. Here we go. Where is it? Is it under awards? Career stats. <clears throat> Look at this. This boy has been in the league nine years, right? And he has 6,917 yards. Drew Locke has 5,361. I'm like, what the fuck? Drew Locke has more touchdowns than Geno Smith. <clears throat> wow. Rushing. Look at this. Yeah, he's damn near 1,000. <clears throat> Receiving. DK Metcalf. Look at that, baby. No offense up there. London's getting up there. Bo Melton. I haven't seen him. Why isn't he in the rotation? Okay, cool. <clears throat> uh, NFL records. There we go. So passing yards. Rush, uh, rushing yards. Is our boy even on there? No, that's total. Okay. Uh, rushing touchdowns. 164. Why is Marshawn Lynch not on here? Am I missing something? Oh, whoops. We need to do career or er, season. <clears throat> rushing yards. Here we go. So the record is as follows. 2,105 yards by, what, Eric Dickerson? Adrian Peterson is right below that, 2009. Derrick Henry had 2,027. Damn, so he was just right below Barry Sanders, man. OJ Simpson, fuck you, OJ. Okay, cool. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here, and I'm just going to basically get right into it and record the next video. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's a crazy start. We're 4-0. The Rams are 3-1. and And then you got the 49ers and Cardinals, both at, you know, 500. So <clears throat> still up in the air of anybody's game. But we'll go, uh, we'll go check it out against the Saints in our next gameplay. So see you soon, guys. Peace.